And welcome to the next part. Grand Theft Auto 4, yeah boy. Anyway, we're going straight to Bernie again. Might as well take care of that. Hopefully we can find a car along the way or something. Something. Wonder how far Bernie is actually. I'm not even sure. I don't even remember. Oh, we're not making it. We're not making it. Ah, uh, we made it. Don't even worry about it. And a little bit of this. I need a vehicle. What is this? Nope, don't want it. If it's not a sports car, I don't want it. God damn it. Shit around here. That was a horrible location, anyway. And here we are. Come on, Bryce. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. But, but, but I'll be thrown in jail. I'm not legal. <clears throat> um, uh, my friend just turned up. I think he can help. I love you. Screw your wife, honey. This is for real. Jesus H, Nico. I need a tranquilizer. Something strong. Oh, man, I am cold. <laughs> Enjoying your new life in the land of opportunity, Dan? This is no time for jokes, buddy. Ah, uh -uh. no sorry. I'm in real trouble, Nico. Real trouble. Bryce is getting blackmailed. About what? About me! Okay, that's not good. Did he find out any information about Darko Brevich yet? No, but he's working on it. You've got to help me. Got to? <laughs> How? We're going to warn these bastards off. Come on! Uh. Go get us a car, sweetie. I want something big and awful and intimidating. I got the perfect car. But Bernie needs to stop calling me sweetie. I don't appreciate that shit. Your ass in here. All right, hun. The meat is on Portland Bay in Northwood. Oh, you know, I don't think wow. North of Park. This is exciting. They don't even know what they're in for. No way. Nothing stands in the way of love. Stuff is strong enough to rip down mountains and throw trucks and all that stuff. Am I right? You're going to show them. Who's blackmailing you? We don't know. They won't even meet us themselves. This is just some flunky they're sending. We have to tell them to tell the boss we won't be pushed around. No way. We're just gonna kill him. That's all that is. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on, that was gonna be so perfect. I hate these damn cars just messing up my drift. Oh. 
And here we are. Where's Bryce? We wanted to speak to him, not his red boys. Listen, you're going to speak to your boss and tell him to back off. <laughs> if that's the way you want to play it, fine. Bryce will be all over Visa News tomorrow morning. You know what? Maybe the best way to get a message to your boss is for me to send him your heart. Yeah, tough guy. How'd you like that? Dmitry Raskolov only asks once. Your lover's career is over. <laughs> Fucking Dmitry. I'll take care of this real quick. Shut up, Bernie. I've been doing this the whole game. Don't even worry about it. I will get him. I don't want to die. Wow, how did he maneuver around that just so nicely? Goddamn computers. Always having an advantage. There you are. Where you going, you little bitch? Get over here. Where are you shooting at? Come on, bus! You clearly saw me right there. Do they know what they're doing here? What right do they have to jeopardize Bryce's career? Our relationship! The whole life we have built together! What about the life Bryce built with his wife? That bitch! She's just in it for the status. She doesn't love Bryce like I do. All she sees in Bryce is big calls and inner party invitations. What he and I have is real, you know? He can be the thief down inside. He may be nasty, but he's fine. But come on! Get them! Bernie, please! Can you be quiet until this is over? There you go. Tell him to shut the fuck up. That wasn't serious. Come on, get that shit out of here. There's the police! Whoops. Get out the way, police. Only if I could shoot a rocket launcher. There we go. Yo, you probably gonna blow up, man. And let me finish the job. Where's this fucker at? That shit out of here, bitch. Stop pushing my car, guy. Did you see how Nico just like went through Bernie through the passenger side? That was ridiculous. Excuse me, coming through, coming through, coming through. Damn it. Damn it. I'm still good. Yeah, boy. So we were just meant to scare them? That didn't work out so good, did it? At least they can't tell Dimitri about the meeting or go to the papers. Dimitri's too much of a wreck to go to the media himself. The information he has on price is too valuable. <laughs> Kill Bryce if he didn't have his career. Maybe he should have thought about that when he started dating. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Your choice is your choice, man. But he should have thought about who he was before getting elected on the family values ticket. He preaches homosexuality as evil. It's insanity. He's a hypocrite, and it was only a matter of time before someone like Dimitri tried to get Shit. I'll shut up now. You don't need me to tell you about your life. I don't normally talk this much. I'm your friend, and I will try to help. And a little bit of this. Make my car brand new. 
I hope it's like green. Nope, even better. Nothing better than black. Only downside is you have to stay wiping it down during the summertime if you're in a place that has a lot of pollen. And you just gotta keep it clean, man. Otherwise, it's just not worth it. Anyway, moving on. Here we are. Look after yourself, yeah? I hope Demetri and his people back off now. Thank you so much, Nico. I'll speak to you soon. And that was that mission moving right along. Let me see, hold up. Where are we going? We're gonna go to the J. We're going to Jimmy Pegs. So close. Get stuffed. That's what that banner said. Damn it. Oh, what do we got here? Hey, Nico. What's up, Mallory? I haven't heard anything, but I'm sure it would be a really good thing for both of you. Thank you. And hey, Romana and I decided to be on He told me about Vlad. You did? Yeah. Thanks for helping him get rid of the body. He has such fire in his heart. I guess when he found out about me and Vlad, he couldn't help himself. His love for me took over and he just had to kill him. That's exactly right. He's an old school romantic. See you soon, Mal. Mallory's a ride or die chick. Moving on. <coughs> yeah? I'm here to see Mr. Pegorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him? Or maybe all three? It's okay, Mrs. P. I'll deal with this. Yeah, I'm in a life-threatening situation, and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. Peg. What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends, I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem. And you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me? I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a historical lion who's going to be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't going to push. Anthony, get in here. 
Boss? Where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know, get on the commission. Now, the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. See to them and the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak with Pedro Reno. What, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. Huh. Oh, boss. Salve. Shut up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere, like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is gonna talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. <laughs>